What's up guys? Long time no see, but behind me there's a new project in the channel. And yeah, you can probably tell it from the thumbnail and from the title, it's an E39. This is initial state of the E39. It has a pretty nice option set. As you can tell, still has the stock steering wheel, has some custom radio in there. It will go out, don't worry about that. Uh, wood trim, memory seats. Also, it has massage option. Well, currently it's not working. Maybe something with the fuse. So I'll check that out. Uh, cup holders are stuck this here it has the phone option but no phone currently also a very nice feature it has the rear window cover electric one and it goes so smooth yep. also the sunroof I wouldn't buy this either nine if it didn't have the sunroof so that's one of the main reasons about it. Electric windows, all four of them. Uh, this cover is in place. I just removed it and uh, took it to my uh, friend who does paint job. So he could take the color code and prepare for the bumpers because we will be swapping those to M Sport bumpers. Also, it still needs a good clean initial state in which I purchased the car. So I just want to show you what you can get for the money out of the market it's actually pretty good if we talk about the rust because these models arches are having rust on this one it's all all fresh no rust whatsoever it has a few marks here and there but i'm planning on polishing it anyway so those will go out don't worry about that we'll need to swap this one over and get some white daylights also, we'll need to get a new set of rims, clean the interior, detail it, make it perfect. I don't know. Tell me guys what you think about the color. Is it good? At first when I saw it, I thought I would have to swap all the interior to black or brown, but the further I go, the more I like it. So I don't know. I just as well just stick with it. Uh, it has some random hood on it somebody did some tuning doesn't look good at all to me so i'm already in the search for the same color stock bumper uh, stock hood and then we'll get the m sport bumpers on here as well maybe a nice lip underneath from the defect side this mirror is kind of loose so we'll need to replace that one inside of here Again, we have the seats with electric memory. Seats are working just fine. Going up, down, back, forth. I'm planning on changing the steering wheel as well. Might as do one myself, just buy a used one and heavily worn off and apply a wheel cover. Let me know if you want to see that. Has this fault in the rear right daylight i don't know why because i checked the lights everything's fine so might do some coating to get it out but other than that it's running smoothly it has this wood knob we'll slap that one to m short shift and yeah that's basically it the car itself is a 2.2 liter petrol so it has around 125 kilowatts out of the factory correct me if i'm wrong yep one there but the comfort you can't compare it to e90 e90 is like six seven years newer car but this just feels smoother also you have more space in the saloon it is quieter inside not so much wind noise coming out from outside and I really like it. Never had a E39 before. I heard it's a legendary model, so I had to buy one. 
So here we have a project on the channel. If you have any other mods in mind, let me know. But I think the next video we will start doing something and you will see some progress on this car. So stay tuned for that. And if you are willing and waiting for this series, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button to make sure you're notified when I'm uploading. It should be lower time spans from now on. Since I have two project cars, I have more time. Uni is coming towards the end. So, okay, let me, let's just go back. Yeah, so I'll have more time to work on the cars. Put what I do on YouTube so you could guys see, maybe learn something, use it for yourself. Yeah, it just needs a deep clean, actually, in the interior. I kind of like it. Also, almost forgot to mention, it has these covers on the windows, both sides. You can roll them up and down. Also on the side. Uh, don't know if that should go in or uh, maybe the motor is shut. But it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Especially with the rare one, never had it before. And it's just crazy how much technology you have in the 2001. BMW E39 compared to 2008 BMW E90. Well, obviously it's just a stock for now. When we have the normal hood, we have some bigger wheels, uh, we have some custom M bumpers, uh, we clean the interior, polish it up, it will look differently. So this is pretty much it for this video, if you like it hit that like button, if you don't hit that dislike button and make sure to subscribe if you're waiting for new content on this bad boy because I will be uploading some shortly. So thank you for watching, see you in the next one.